I'm Tom and this is my third video for the Printabout Simple Metal Kit. Last time we looked at assembling the base of the printer with the x-axis. Today we're going to start building the z-axis and we're going to put the electronics in. So as the first step in assembling the z-axis we're going to align the holes in the base plate with the holes in the printer's housing. And we can then simply slide the rods through the housing from the bottom. You can then attach the aluminum base plate of the Z-Rod assembly to the printer's case with 10mm M3 screws on the four outermost holes. Don't tighten these down all the way because we're still going to need to install the motor. Watch the orientation of the motor's cables and install that from the bottom with four 16mm M3 screws. And those reach all the way through the printer's case, the base plate of the Z-Rod assembly into the motor. You can then tighten down all eight screws. Next up we're going to install the printer's mainboard. As with every other printed circuit board, try to only touch the circuit board on its corners. Use the micro SD slot and the USB port to align the board with the cutouts on the printer's base. You can then tighten down the board with 6mm M3 screws on three corners. And on the fourth corner, you're going to use that same screw to install the probe adapter board on top of the main board. In my case, the cable for the probe adapter was installed incorrectly, so I removed it, but we're going to do the wiring later. So next up, we're going to install the Z coupler. As with the pulleys, I'm going to remove one of the two grub screws on either side. At this point you should orient the motor shaft so that the flat side is pointing out to the side. Now the coupler has two ends, one with a bigger and one with a smaller hole. If you install it upside down it will wobble around like this. If installed correctly it will look much smoother. Now if you got the upper grub screw in just the right spot you can thread in the lead screw. But either way the coupler should be pressing the lead screw onto the motor shaft. If installed correctly it will look much smoother. And that's about the right amount of tension. Okay, so that was the assembly of the Z-axis and of the electronics. In the next video we're going to look at installing the Y-axis into the printer.